everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Charlie Bliss. How are y'all doing? Really, really good. good. Very, very, very good. Welcome to Toronto. Are you enjoying your time here so far? Yeah, we just ate a lot of sushi. We had a sushi pizza, which was really fantastic. Yeah. Oh, sushi yeah. pizza. What exactly pizza. does that entail? It's I wish like, I could tell you. Yeah, it's I'm not even fried. sure, but it was I'm delicious. pretty sure it's like it's like a patty of fried rice. Okay. Like battered, I think, and then it had like spicy mayo and, and fish roe on top. Fish roe, and I think it was salmon, salmon. as yeah. well, and it was like pretty fantastic. It's Sounds awesome. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Truly divine. One of the more gluttonous things I've had in the past <laughs> few days, but really, really good. You're now touring across North America with Veruca Salt. So how has that been treating you? Do you have any favorite cities as of right now? It's been, been incredible. Yeah. We, like probably so far, like our first show in Nashville was very cool just because yeah. the audience was so fun and they danced a lot. But also we loved playing in Minneapolis. Yeah, and Detroit was like amazing. Really <laughs> nowhere has been bad. Nothing's been a problem for us. We've been kind of into everything that's yeah. happened. Yeah, it's been really great. Um, no complaints at all, really. I saw you grab some deep fried ravioli the other day. You just, oh. you mentioned the sushi. Oh Is that your God. first time having it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, isn't it amazing? Well, the concept, <laughs> was, the concept <laughs> was amazing. The I think execution. the execution was Yeah, the was execution little, was bad. Yeah. Like, we got tipped off to, like, a not too great, like, pizza spot. Okay. Uh, we're not going to name any names. No, we're not no. going to name drop. We're not that kind of band. It's something I want to try again. Yeah, I feel like, like, in general, I feel like, there's a lot of good to come from deep fried ravioli. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah I, I, but you know what? There's, it, we, we can only move forward, forward from our from last experience. experience. <laughs> yeah, was for that sure. Bad? We no. were, it wasn't, it was food, and like we just needed food. And we were starving. Yeah. It was really like, I think a lot of it took us by surprise. It was like the pizza <sighs> was not quite the pizza. It was more like a flatbread with American cheese. Yeah, it was like a bunch of Triscuits with like <laughs> bacon and American <laughs> cheese. Yeah. It was like something Delicious. I would have made when I was like home alone when I was like eight years old. It was, not, it was <laughs> gooey, so we were all, you know. We were yeah. into it. It was sustenance, and that was like but most man, important thing. man, we're like making a bad name for ourselves as a band. We're like, we ate sushi pizza. <laughs> deep fried ravioli. Yeah, we're gonna exactly. get back to New York like in like three thousand pounds. Yeah, <laughs> it's really funny. Every time we go somewhere, we're always just like, "Oh man, like you know what? We're gonna eat healthy now. Like I'm gonna get like and like we end up just like cutting so many corners <laughs> with trying to be healthy. Just like oh, instead of bacon, I'm gonna get turkey sausage. Yeah. But it's like something with like four pieces of cheese on like six pieces of toast. So like we're pretty awful at being healthy. Well, it's obvious that you like food just from us talking yeah. about it, just a little bit. Like it a little. So when you're on the road, is there any specific meal or snack that you look for? Breakfast. Breakfast? For breakfast. Yeah. yeah. We learned that kind of the hard way today. We did not eat breakfast today. It was a very cranky and car like, ride. We just deteriorated. Very All of us just like kind of fell apart after like the second hour of the drive. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a photo of you guys all holding a chicken, appropriately titled, We're Holding a Chicken! <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. tell us what happened there. Well, we have this, like, with this, like, long-standing band joke about, like, like, oftentimes in, like, band press photos, they'll, like, like, just to make it a little less awkward, they'll be, like, they'll give you, like, a prop of some kind, like, how did we end up with this rubber chicken yeah. or whatever? What am I doing with this? Yeah, doing with this? Yeah. The one, the one, like, the quirky bass player be holding, like, like, a rubber chicken or have, like, a clown nose. It's, like, it's, like a big, like, <laughs> pop-punk band photo so thing. So, we ended up somehow in this, like, in this funny like it's like a glass, glass blowing bubble project is the glass, glass ball project in cleveland, in cleveland. cleveland but we ended up there and they have just like a roost a chicken is it a roost i mean how do you chicken? define who's to, say? who's to say i think the yeah the male ones have the uh maybe a lamb they had the airhead oh yeah the like the red lamb. leather thing on top but anyways we it was too good of an opportunity to pass up and it was like the friendliest like most docile creature like i've ever yeah, met it was chill. so yeah. cool it was the cuddliest bird I've ever met. <laughs> You've met a lot of We've birds? We've met a lot of birds. And this <laughs> I was going to say, did we know some I'll birds? I'll so. speak for myself and say I've met tons of birds. Yeah, you, tons. If you want to know when we're in town, there's usually a flock of birds flying behind yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird seed in the yeah, yeah, yeah. trailing us. <laughs> yeah. Sick. That's not true. Well, on the music front, it's pretty exciting because we were talking to you beforehand. You released your new EP, and we're really, really digging soft. So, oh, so sick. for our viewers, tell us just a little bit about this track. Uh, about what? Uh, about soft serve. Yeah. Oh well, we so we have the three songs on soft serve. Uh, Love me or virgin strings. We recorded them like two years ago now. That's crazy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Almost to the day two years ago. Yeah, yeah actually. It was Nearing August. like the two year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and it took us a little while to get them out, and then <clears> yeah, I don't know. We've been now we have just like, like coasting on that EP for <laughs> a while now. Yeah, as long as we and, can. And, yeah. Now, um, and now we have like another album recorded that we're hoping to get out really soon. Oh, nice. 
Nice. And how long have you been working on the record? Because you mentioned how Soft Serve was out for a while now. I think, yeah, we started we started working on the new record about a year, yeah, probably like a year after a year Soft Serve yeah. came out. So it's been like, we've just been sitting on it for quite some time now. I'm just waiting for the pieces to kind of fall into place. And your Facebook describes your actual genre here as bubble grunge, which I yeah. think is a really accurate <clears throat> description with all the energy you have. So Sick. where was that inspired from? So it's something Spencer just said one day. And like, you know, I don't know, back to us being like a really awkward band that's hard at describing anything. Like, yeah. I feel like every time someone would ask us like, what does your band sound like? We would all kind of panic. And when Spencer said that, it was really perfect. But then we felt very clever and very proud of ourselves. And it but like, out. it says, it already existed. Yeah, that's it was <laughs> completely a thing someone that else has been very it. much yeah. established in like like 25 thing, years. Like, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Urban dictionary. Yeah, it's on Urban Dictionary. It's been used so to describe other we bands. We're not original at all. We, we're yeah. complete hacks, pretty much. <laughs> we're taking it to the next level, I would say. Yeah, yeah, we're picking up the Double torch. bubble grunt. Double, yeah. double, yeah. double wow. bubble grunt. Wow. Facebook edit. I'm going to put that yeah. You got to go right in dictionary. there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's not ready for that. <laughs> on that one. Exactly. Well, something <laughs> awesome I saw that, I want one, by the way, I have to mention that, are these new shirts you have in? Oh, yeah. With the yeah. sunglasses, the nose bleeding. Yeah. So where did that design come from? That was the lovely Faye Orla. Love. Yeah, Faye Orlov designed them. She's like one of my favorite artists, and she's amazing. We, yeah, we asked to work with her, and it, I don't know, like she came up with that totally on her own. Like we had a couple of ideas that we were sort of like kicking around, and she just kept coming to us with better ones. Yeah, and it's so funny. Them. Like she's we had like, sent no, her. We're gonna, I'm gonna do this instead. It was, yeah. you know, it was, it was Way just better. so funny. We like we emailed her like a bunch of ideas, and she was like, "Well, here's the thing, guys. It's like I was thinking about it, and like if you don't like it, it's fine. But like, what about this? And we just like got the email. It's like. That's so good. That's yeah. it. Yeah. This yeah, is so exactly. much cooler than anything we ever could have thought of yeah, on our own. Great. It worked out well. Yeah, fantastic. I'm happy you like it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm going to bug you guys afterwards. Oh, man. Totally. Thanks. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> Cheers for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> We're an <Close>. Oprah band. <laughs> <laughs> a shirt for you. What for you? There it is. You, you got it. Do you guys have an you Oprah impression? Exactly. Oh, no, no, no. It would be <laughs> Spencer's job to I, fill that one. If but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch that one. Too many diehard Oprah fans out there. Yeah, exactly. Very true. true. I don't want like I any. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't it's want the internet turning against me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah fans. I'm really. I've been trying to get into the Oprah book club for like months now, and like I know. If you just can't wreck it. I really yeah, can't ruin my chances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the bands from New York City are based there right now. So, tell our viewers the best slice. Where do we go? Whoa. Roberta's. Roberta's. Roberta's is really good. Vinny's. Also, best pizza Vinny's. is Vinny's fantastic. Pizza. Williamsburg pizza's a uh, highlight. I was gonna say, you're looking like you're gonna go different than what yeah. they're saying. Sometimes a little soggy. Right. Wow. Okay, I would say throwing th shade I used to on work camera. At Roberta's, wow. So I would say Roberta's, and then I live across the street from Vinny's. Vinny's is, is amazing if you're looking for just like great slice, you know, pizza by the slice. It's awesome. Joe's. In West Village. There's multiple locations. So. Wow. All right. Wow. I will stop talking now. <laughs> Keeping it to one Clearly, am like, not the authority on pizza here. Oh, yeah. On the Upper West Side, there's a place called Coronets that no, has the Upper like West massive side, right slices, mm -hmm. which are really nice at three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, very nice. And to wrap everything up today, I want to ask you all: What would you say is the best part about being in the band with one another? Uh, They're my three best friends in the entire world. We all like each other a lot, so it's easy to be in a van with people that you like for eight hours every day as opposed to people you don't like because that'd be the worst thing ever it would be yeah definitely yeah. so it works out pretty nicely awesome well thank you so much for your time today guys we can't thank wait for you. your show yeah. tonight it is our pleasure remember everybody at home you can visit us at amusicvlogia.com for exclusive interviews and features with your favorite artists see you